It is finally time to crack back out my handy dandy suitcase and go on a little trip. Now we are just going about two hours down the coast to a town called Punta del Este, but we're going to be gone for about two weeks. So hopefully we get up to some fun things. So today we are just about to head off. It has been a rough morning so far. We've had some issues with the rental car, but hopefully it'll be here any minute now because we still don't actually own a car here in Montevideo. So we are grabbing the rental car, chucking all our things in there and then driving two hours down the coast. So where we're going is known as like a very touristy town and it is the best in the summertime, which currently we are not in, but we're going to make the most of it anyway. Today is quite a sunny, hot, well, hot for this time of year anyway. It's going to be about a top of 21 degrees, so can't complain with that, but then it is going to get a bit cooler for the rest of the week. So we try to just make the most of the sunshine that we do get, bringing Nacho along. We're going to go for some long beach walks, see some sights and enjoy our mini little staycation ready for a road trip ready for a road trip Nacho, are you ready? ready what? Huh? <laughs> he, just, he has no idea what's happening <laughs> finally ready to go yeah Really big one.
officially now, what even day is it, Thursday? So we've been down here a few days and we're actually off on a little adventure. It was raining most of yesterday, so we didn't do any updates, but we did go down to the beach. We took Nacho down, he had a great time. Yeah, we Luck figured out he likes pine cones. Yeah, and it was perfect because the whole beach was empty. We've been trying to, <laughs> he has the cups. We've been trying to not let him off the lead so much anymore after the beach incident with the other dog but because there was it was a rainy miserable day it was just like an hour right in the middle where it wasn't raining there was literally no one there so we took him off through the pine cone and he had a great time and then today we went back to the same place we tried to go to on tuesday but they were closed so that was a place with the yeah. wet cat that it was like all <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore your hiccups for a second. It was 100% gluten free, 100% vegan, so that was just perfect, and the food was really nice. Yeah. So, highly recommend that place. But now we're off to your parents' new plot of land. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. yeah it's, their, it's their retirement plan. Yeah, so they're still in South Africa, but they have a plot of land here that's the plan for when they can build a house and leave South Africa and move here. When my dad retires, and that's it they're coming here and they're living here and they're not moving and that's it they're growing old and they're gonna die here yeah and they'll be happy in their happy place yeah so we got nacho in the back oh you can't even see he's him. over there he's he, he he's in a little bit of trouble we came back home and he <laughs> after lunch got into the bin so he's yeah so he's he is really anxious when you tell him off but you know he needs to learn but anyway off we go on our little adventure it's the one day we've been here that hasn't been raining so it's we needed... still very doom and gloomy yeah it's still cold and cloudy but it's not raining, so we're gonna make the most of it and do an outdoor activity. We're gonna go on the whoop de whoop bridge, which is like very famous in Uruguay. If everybody asks you about the, the wavy bridge, this which is we it. We will show you when we get there. Yeah. Approaching the Wapiti Wop. Does it have a name? Yeah, there's a special name for it. Oh my goodness. Is there, there has got to not be a, like why is, oh my goodness, oh golly. Slow <laughs> down. What the f <laughs> Do you like it? These cows are just staring me down. Oh, I'm behind the pole. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Well, Nacho is having a great time. Oh 
Moo Moo Cow Cow. Nacho. <laughs> What's he doing now? Yeah, my feet are drenched. That was doing pretty good. Nacho, ah, ah. It's not cross, dude. It's not, it's out. No, no, no. Ah, uh, Nacho. Uh -huh. Just imagine trying to run it and just. Oh, what the little poodle thing from like. I don't know. Dig me! Dig me! Okay, we're heading back now. It was just nice to let Nasha have a little run around and see yeah. the place. It's, it's really nice. It's got a decent amount of land right at the end, and there's just like cows and horses and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's very also picturesque. It's really nice that you can. It's not like they built this thing and then you just go in and you pick a house. Yeah, no, it's not like a showroom kind of place. Like it's every neat. house is unique and yeah. different and interesting and you've got enough room between your neighbors that it's like you're not on top of each other which is the yeah. one thing my parents like absolutely hated about any apartment or anything we lived in mm -hmm. because you just being able to hear everyone and just like not being able to have like your little space and just being able to shut off the world basically yeah so it'll be interesting to see like in 10 years time when we come back to visit this one's fully wooden this and that's yeah. the cool thing is none of the houses look the same no they're all completely different like there's one that's fully stone and then just across the way from them it's like this pink little like cottage looking thing but so currently there's maybe a third of the plots if that have houses on them mm -hmm. but i'm sure a lot of them like your parents are are owned but just haven't got anything on them yet yeah. so in when we visit in a few years time it'll be interesting to see what the place well, they, looks like they then. might be coming here at the end of the year if mm -hmm. the flights allow it and yeah they're gonna come and talk to the architect and they're gonna start getting things done because mm -hmm. um, they need to take a bit of money and then they're gonna get the maintenance removed a few rocks make sure that the, like they've got to start doing the yeah the ground is a little bit wet but it is you know in the middle of winter so yeah. you can't really complain about that's that a, too that's much. A kingfisher. not a kingfisher but a fisher <laughs> How are you going with the driving? I am driving. Driving's good. Um, it takes. Good. It took me like a day to like click. But yeah, because if you didn't realize, we're used to driving on the right hand side of the car, driving on the left hand side of the road in Australia and in South Africa, but here it's the opposite. So it's the same as in the US. Yeah. Which is just. But you're used to it now. What do you say? It just took you like a day. Yeah. Listen, hey, like, it took me like day. the first day. On the left side, yeah. Mm. Right side. I mean, of the car. <laughs> okay. Left side of the car, right hand side of the road. Yeah. Maybe I'll give it a go. <laughs> Okay, and that is gonna be it for the end of part one of the honeymoon vlog. We have been here for two weeks, but I just forgot to film like an end to the first part because I didn't know how much footage we were gonna fit into video one and how much is gonna be in video two. So here you go, this is the end of the video. Be sure to stick around for next week if you're not already subscribed. 
please subscribe why not now's the perfect time because we've got so many fun adventures coming up so many cool video ideas planned i will have my channel linked down below as well so you can go check that out if you have happened to stumble across the vlog channel and haven't already come from my channel all of our social medias will also be in the description box down below and i would love to start doing like a question or comment of the day at the end of these vlogs so if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and maybe in next week's vlog so next wednesday we will answer your question at the end of the video but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed see you next wednesday with another video bye